All right, Medea fans. Now, this video isn't... You, look, I've already broke down the trailer uh, for the Medea Homecoming movie coming out yesterday. And uh, it's a good trailer. I've already talked about it. I talked about cast and stuff like that. But this uh, video is pretty much talking about the Medea hype train. And some people are asking... Uh, wow, you know, why didn't they name this film? Why didn't Tyler Perry say this is Tyler Perry's A Medea Farewell? But uh, I think people are missing the point. Um, the Medea Farewell slash Medea Family Funeral Movie, you know, the Medea Farewell play, the Medea Family Funeral Movie, those are kind of like, you know, the swan songs or the homegoing Medea projects, whereas you have this movie, which is loosely a movie version of the Farewell play, this is Medea's homecoming, as in, honey, I'm home. Like, there are some people saying the Medea house looks different and whatnot. I honestly don't care. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, in my mind, I always think about the Medea Witness Protection Program movie where she gets all that money at the end. I'm thinking to myself, what is she like, you know, remodeled her house or something? I don't know. But in any case, uh, to me personally... I feel like this Medea film is going to be the Kickstarter for yet another, um, I guess you could say, another era of the character. I mean, I just feel like this movie is going to be a success because who cares about the ratings? When it comes to Medea films, they just do amazing at the box office. Like, you know, I know they don't do the same level as the uh, Medea Goes to Jail film. But they do good. They do well, regardless. They Medea's a box office draw. But in this case, you got Netflix. And to be honest, I feel like this Medea film is going to steamroll a fall from grace in terms of the numbers that it pulls. But also the fact that I feel like when making the Medea films more than any other show, not just movies, but show, I feel like it's Tyler Perry having playtime. You know, between him doing a lot of the stuff behind the camera, he's also in front of it. And I just feel like it's a chaotic mess that turns out to be hilarious and heartwarming in the end. Because literally, when I watch that trailer, I'm like, you know what? I'm down. Because I'm not trying to investigate drama. I'm not trying to look into affairs or murder. It's like Medea films are what you see is what you get. You know? Yeah, there might be some surprises along the way. But overall... It's right in front of you. And Tyler Perry's mission for the movie was to deliver laughter. And guess what? I unpacked four solid laughs during the promo. Now, uh, no need to do a separate video on this. I might as well talk about it here. It's interesting because there was a moment in the promo where Medea talked about how in 1955 she was uh, 20 years old. And then I think, uh, yeah, one of the characters was like, wait a minute, I think it was Laura, right? She was like, Wait, if you were 20 in 1955, wouldn't that make you 95 now? Black don't crack unless you're using it. I'm not even going to begin to try to dissect the age thing. But in the Mabel series, which was allegedly coming to Showtime, um, that was supposed to take place in the 1970s. And Medea would be a 20-something. So I just look at it this way. Medea's past is kind of random. And, you know, the numbers don't always add up. But more to the point, um, the Mabel series was like, I remember that being announced in like April or May of 2021. Like, hey, a um, uh, Mabel series has been announced on the Showtime network. Tyler Perry wouldn't even be writing it. He would be like a producer or something, but he wouldn't be one of the writers. And it's just one of those things where, well, where is it? There hasn't been a word on any follow-up on the project, no casting, no filming, what's going on? I don't know if that project just got scrapped. I don't know if it got placed on the back burner. Maybe it's one of those things where it's like, hey, let's see how well the Medea movie on Netflix does. And if it's a huge draw, then we'll move forward with the Mabel project. I mean, because we're seeing a quote-unquote younger Medea which kind of leads me to believe that we might see Tyler Perry portray Mabel in her 20s in the series if we see a Medea in her 20s in the movie. Just saying. But I feel like this hype surrounding the film is definitely going to lead to more Medea projects. I'm just going to take plays off the table due to the pandemic and just say we're probably going to get more Medea films. We're probably going to get more 
Medea appearances and like maybe I would love to see her in assisted living in House of Pain but you know I would love to see that I think that this film is not just going to deliver on what Tyler Perry wants and that's bringing happiness and joy to the world but it's going to be the kickstarter for Medea's next stage you know it's kind of funny how Medea was the one that really started the franchise, but I feel like Medea, well, when I say franchise, I mean like the Tyler Perry franchise, but I feel like this Medea film is going to be the next thing for Tyler Perry moving forward. You know, like we might see a shift in what he's doing, you know, like, like he said, I'm handing over the reins to some of the projects to other people. So I feel like the less Tyler Perry does because he's handing it over to writers and directors and other projects, the more quality we'll see in the handful of projects he's going to hold on to. So for me, I think this Medea film, not to quote High School Musical here, is the start of something new. Even though we're bringing back a character who's someone really old. So, yeah, what do you think? I think the Medea film is going to branch off into a lot of other things. Maybe Medea's going to pop up more often. Uh, maybe we're going to see Tyler Perry create more Medea content. Regardless, I'm just ready for the movie to come out next month. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, as always, just thanks so much for supporting the channel. Hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe as we move forward. We are less than 1,000 people away from 200,000 subscribers. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out when I post content on the channel. And if you'd like to donate, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.